lost on the way. Okay, here's uh, 91 point, or 91 number 26. So I need the distance between this point and this line. So you don't have to draw it, but if you're me, you have to draw it. So the line is uh, negative 1, and then it goes up 3 over 1, up 1, 2, over 1. I have my flat bracer right here. I can at least make a straight line if I want to. There's a line, and then 2, comma 2. 1, 2, comma 2. So the distance between my point and my line is going to be actually a, a perpendicular distance. So I try to draw it where it looks like it's perpendicular. So I think we're going to have to go through a little bit of a procedure. We know that this is 2 comma 2. If I just knew the point, I could use my distance formula. You know, the, the y2, y1 all squared minus, or y2 minus y1, that, that thing. I um, think the only way to get that point would just be to do a system of equation on the two lines. Now we already have the first line right there. So we just need an equation of this line that passes through the point. So I'll call it the red line. Okay. The red line is going to have a perpendicular slope as compared with the black line. So the slope is going to be negative one-third. And that's m x plus b. Okay, the red line. Plug in. Now I know that comp two is actually on my red line, so I can use it to plug in for y and x. Negative two thirds plus b is two. Add two thirds to both sides, and I'll have two and two thirds. Two and two thirds is two, three times two is six is eight thirds. B equals 8 thirds. So, why am I doing this? Oh, so I can have the equation of the line. So, the equation of the red line is y equals negative 1 third x plus 8 thirds. Okay, I have a black line and a red line. I can do a system of equations and find out the ordered pair of x and y, and then, well, that'll be good. All right, so I can use the equal values method, which is just a form of substitution. Since that y and that y, they're both y's, I can just substitute for that y. I can just plug in a 3x minus 1 over here. So I'll just go 3x minus 1 is equal to negative 1 third x plus 8 thirds, and I can solve it for x. So I can, I think I'm going to actually get rid of those fractions because I just, it would be fast and I don't really want to deal with the fractions. So I'm going to multiply every single thing by 3 to get rid of the fractions before I finish this. So 3 times 3, that's 9. 3 times negative 1, negative 3. 3 times that gives me negative x. 3 times that gives me 8. That so makes it easier on me. And then if I add x to both sides, I'll have 10x. And if I subtract 8 from both sides, or sorry, if I add 8, uh, if I add 3 to both sides, I'll have 8, 9, 10, 11. Oh, I always get, doesn't they, they always do that. <sighs> x is 11 over 10. They give us fractions and they make us put them in the distance formula. Don't they always do that to us? Yep. That's not... That could be 1.1. One one. That might be Mm-hmm. I'm going to see if they like, if they leave it as fractions or decimals. I'm going to look. I also want to see if it's right before I start doing a whole bunch of work with it. Um, it's right. They left it as fractions. Um... But you can easily also write it as decimals. It's up to you. I don't care which way you guys do it. Um, so that's x. And then you have to find out y. So you can plug it in anywhere. You can plug it into this nice one or this ugly one. Let's plug it into the nice one. 3 times 11 tenths is 33 tenths minus 1. 
oh, minus 10 tenths, right? Because 1 is 10 tenths would be 23 tenths. So that's y. I'm going to make sure everything's looking good so far. Yep, everything's looking good. So then we plug those all into the formula, into the distance formula. <laughs> Yay! So we can do the x's and the x's and the, like, I think 2 comma 2 would be, well, we got to use the 2 comma 2. So, I'm going to probably do fraction math. I think I can handle it. That's 20 tenths minus 11 tenths would, is that 9 tenths? I said I could handle it, then I'm asking. What's 20 tenths minus 11 tenths? 20 minus 11 is 9. Yep, that's 9 tenths. And then that would be 20 tenths minus 23 tenths, so that would be negative 3 tenths, I think. But when it gets squared, it won't matter. It's going to be 81 over 100. Give me 9 over 100. 81 minus 9 is, oh, I should know this, 72. Oh, thank you. I love that. It says now it's 90. Wait, no, it's 81 plus 9. Is 81 plus 9 90? How embarrassing. <laughs> okay, I got 90 over. I hope this is right. Square root of 100 is 10. Square root of 90 is, well, 9 times 10, right? So square root of 9 is 3. Um, I got that number. And let's see how they both did, what they got. Oh, they got the same number. Thank you for fixing that part for me. I would have, that would have been bad. But it turned out okay. Save it.